Welcome back to Must Play Reviews. And, well, I don't even know where to start with this game. Everything about it says this is dumb, but it's one of the most addictive games I have played in a long time. And with this style of game, they just have that as an inherent quality to them. Just like Vampire Survivors, Brotato is an addictive, fun game that will suck you in and make you want to unlock every single thing in the game. Which is crazy because, like I said, you are a potato that is wielding swords, guns, hammers, flamethrowers, knives, and any type of weapon you can to fight off these little creatures that are attacking you. And the great thing about this game is it's cheap. 50 hours on a game that is this cheap is unbelievable. And I'm probably going to put more time into it because it's just fun. Before we go any further, could you please leave a like and subscribe down below? And leave a comment if you have played Brotato before. Like I said, I'm probably going to put more time into it because it's just fun. Everything about this game, from the randomness of trying to get the items that you want to use, or the fact that certain potatoes have detrimental effects given to them, like 100% less damage with any weapon, or you must use this style of weapon to have attack speed, or maybe you need to use medical weapons because your character is constantly dying and you need life steal abilities. And then there's one that don't give you as much XP and some that give you double XP. But of course, these all come with their trade-offs. The double XP means everything in the menu between each wave costs more money to buy. Trying to overcome all these little obstacles makes this game great. Visually, the game is nothing special. It's not even an 8-bit style game. You're just, for some reason, a little white potato fighting on a fairly bland background that do change with each level you play but each potato oddly does have its own personality from different facial expressions and of course the way they actually play but every time you get certain upgrades it actually affects your potato the bait puts a hook through your head the item that makes more trees spawn gives you a big green afro it is just a very weird game visually now in the gameplay department it excels at this style of game you can even choose to do manual aiming if you want to all of the upgrades that you can get are key to your survival. One of the things that you really need to pay attention to is if you're using melee weapons, you want a mix of melee damage and damage percentage because this gives you the best option to deal the most amount of damage. If you just get percentage, it only applies to your base damage, but melee damage increases the base damage. So combining the two makes for some devastating firepower. And there are a ton of more stats in the game that affect everything you have range and increases how far you can target the enemy you also have attack rate critical hit chance and each weapon even has their own special little abilities that go along with them the wrench will give you turrets screwdriver will give you landmines and certain things like garden shears give you a better chance for items to drop from the enemies and of course the medical style weapons give you more life still so each time you kill an enemy you get a chance to recover your own health. And once you get some stuff unlocked, you can get rocket launchers, potato guns, mini guns. You can carry up to six weapons all at once, besides for a couple of characters. One can only use one weapon, while there's another that can use 12. But of course, these also come with their setbacks as well. The extra firepower you get from some of these characters is definitely worth it in long runs. And one thing that is a very nice feature even if you close out of the game, the game offers you the ability to continue from where you were without having to start over from the beginning of a new run. You also have difficulty levels ranging from zero to five. Five gets difficult, especially at the end because you have to face off against three bosses. I think if you enjoyed Vampire Survivors, you are going to love this game. And if you have never played these types of game before, these arcade auto battlers, this one might be the one for you to check out because it's so cheap and affordable. And once you figure it out, you're going to have fun with it. Like I said, I've put 50 hours into this game, which blows my mind because, but I did not expect that much from it when I bought it, but I have fallen in love with it. And who knows, maybe you'll put that much time into it too, trying to unlock every single character and weapon in the game or going for all the achievements or that platinum trophy. I don't know what else to say about it. I've had such an incredible time playing Brotato. There's not much else to say about the game. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.